Hey, good morning to you. I was set to come here in on time. However, I got myself slightly sidetracked. So here I am, just a little late. David here with you and happy Friday. I hope you had yourself a great week and just get right ahead into the weekend. Have yourself a great weekend plan ahead. Ah, ah, doing all right here, having some fun. So what we're talking about today, as usual, we're talking about balancing the triad of body, mind, spirit to improve your health, wellness, and fitness. So with that, the best training program, training, the best training and nutrition program for you, experimentation, trial and error. Unfortunately, that's the way it kind of works. Because there is no one-size-fits-all training program or nutrition program that's going to work for everybody. Now, granted, there are some general guidelines that pretty much works for most people, pretty much everyone. You can follow those along. They can do great for you. However, the true test is whether or not they actually fit into your life and if you're going to follow through on them. That's the biggest thing there. So, it can go through, yeah, trial and error experimentation. You can try a variety of different training programs, figure out what one works for you. <laughs> try different nutrition programs, which ones do you like, which ones do you not. And it only comes down to that, is whether you like them or not. Now, for a lot of people trying to change their eating habits because they're used to eating whatever they want, yeah, they're not going to like it a whole lot. For all, I shouldn't say that. I said a number of people won't like it a whole lot. They want to continue eating. But yet, there's a trade-off. They know if they don't make some changes, their health is at risk. And that's, for a lot of people, that's what makes the shift. Something happens to their health, they're at risk, their illness. So it's like, okay, I need to make some changes. So let's go through that. Now, some people are going to have the true grit that they can do whatever. They don't like it. They are not going to hate it. They hate it the entire time. But yet they're still going to go through and plug along. There are people that got that. And there are others that yeah, it's not going to do that much so much. That's why I always talk about which my kind of philosophy here is let's make sure and figure out what do you like, what fits into your life, what can we do about it, and taking those baby steps. <clears throat> I know I shared up a comic yesterday. Yeah, it was on my page there about, yeah, I said, doctor, I'm going to paraphrase here, but doctors should start out with small steps. So yesterday I drove by a store that sells uh, sweatpants or something like that one there. But it's just understanding yeah, no cook get routine. That's why when I'm coaching, I don't have a set program out for everybody. It's got to figure out. We we sit down, we talk. What's the, what do you want to do? How do you want to get there? What's going to fit in your life? What do you use your schedule like? What do you want to do? Do you want to do weight training? Do you want to do walking? Do you want to do yoga? What's nutrition? We can prefer to eat some vegetables and lean meats, but if you want to eat pizza, we can kind of figure that one out in there. Meditation. You got 20 minutes to do meditation. Fine, we can get you program set up. That. However, if you can only do a minute at a time, we'll work on deep breathing. You want to do mindset? Okay, let's start there. Let's start with your subconscious. We start growing things out, but baby steps. <clears throat> but the bottom line is here, it's what's going to work for you. It's experimentation to try out what you like, what you don't like. I know for myself over the years, I found I really enjoy res resistance training. And especially in the past, uh, since the cancer, uh, three and a half years ago, experimentation of going through, I really enjoy going through. It's a combination between lifting free weights, the kettlebells, the body weight exercises, as well as like sandbags, that's what's worked for most for me, and I enjoy it. And I have the fun with it. Nutrition, I don't follow a set diet. I just pay attention to what I eat. You, you might be different. You might need to have a structured diet program. I don't like to use the word diet. First three letters spelled die. And animal kingdom, diet is what they eat. And humans, diet seems to mean, mean trying to lose weight. But you got to figure out what's for you. It's going to be trial and error. Learn from others that have gone from the path. Or if you need some point, have some people to point you in the right direction a little bit, at least to get the thought process going, starting to go through there, which is what I like to do. And that's also what I have in my, um, I'm going to bring it up now, in my uh, Facebook group. In the, there's a link in the description. There's a train there. Health and Wellness Your Way 2.0. And that's the key for there is Health and Wellness Your Way. I have you go through and answer a variety of questions, thought process, go for, figure out so you can figure out what is going to work in your life and go through it. And even with this, I've done it as well. You don't know what to do. You're still in a trial and error. Well, you're not going to know that until you actually do it. You're not going to know you're on the wrong path unless you start moving out. It's once you get on that path and you start going, okay, I don't like the way it's going, then you can course to correct as needed. But you're not going to know that if you're standing still doing nothing. You got to get out there and play. Yes, I do. It is play. Play, experiment, try different foods out, try different training programs, figure out what do you like, what works for you, how does your body respond? And all of that's going to be better than doing absolutely nothing. And again, you're not going to know you're doing something quote unquote wrong or what doesn't work for you until you actually do it. But yeah, I've been like that as well. I'm uh, more knowledge based. I want all the information. I want the knowledge. I want the blueprint. I want to know how it's going to affect before I take action. There's actually a bank code 
And action is the last thing I take. So morally, I'm up, a lot of times I'm up here as well. I want to get on information before I take action, and I'm very resistant on that. But yeah, you got to go on through it and do something before you can figure out whether you need to make the changes. So that's what we got for you. Go ahead and kind of ponder that. Realize it's going to be trial and some experimentation to figure out what works for you. Talk to others. Talk to some experts in the field. Do some learning. Do some reading. Watch some videos. And then go for it and try it. Experiment. Have fun with it. And go from there. Like I said, doesn't work? Okay, change things up. That one doesn't work? Change things up. Keep going until you figure out what works for you. And sometimes it might just be a slight adjustment to figure out what's the best option. Like I talked to a buddy uh, not too long ago. He's been working on something. He goes, yeah. He goes, I, it's something difficulty with. He goes, I've tried that. Well, sometimes you got to try again. You got to keep trying until. How long do you keep doing it? Until. Until you succeed. Until you're successful. Until you figure out what works. Keep doing it until. All right. Have yourself a great, wonderful day. Enjoy your weekend. And I will catch you Monday. So take care and balancing to you. Bye-bye.